What is going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part 30 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Super Mario Brothers. Wow, that was a lot of fingers. So before we start this tutorial, I want everybody's promise to not notify PETA, but we are going to learn how to kick turtles today. So if you're interested in that, stick with me. So here's a little sneak peek of what we're going to be doing. In this tutorial, we're going to kick a turtle. Next tutorial, we're killing Goombas. And a few more tutorials, we're going to be throwing fireballs. Whoa. One more thing really quick is a quick shout out to my two new patron um, supporters, uh, William and Guillaume. I hope I'm not butchering that. But I really appreciate your guys' support from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Um, I would like to uh, also throw out that if any of you guys that are patrons um, would like to throw me a link to your website, your app, or something like that, I'll put it up in an annotation. Uh, so just send me a message and uh, I'll put it in an annotation on what, you know, one patron per video uh, but I'll uh, throw you guys some love back so thank you so much so we're gonna start off at a world contact listener when we hit an enemy on the head I want the that enemy to have access to uh, the Mario uh, player so I'm going to copy this line of text here and then when fixture a which is the enemy gets hit on the head by Mario Mario must be fixture B so we're gonna pass it fixture B and then uh, if it's fixture B, then Mario must uh, be fixture A. So there we go. Likewise, when Mario gets hit by an enemy, as we can see, Mario bit collides with the enemy bit. I want Mario to have access to uh, the enemy uh, object. So I'm going to copy this one here. If Mario is fixture A, then the enemy must be fixture B, right? And then if Mario is fixture B, the enemy must be fixture A. Now that we've broken all these methods, let's go ahead and fix them. We're going to start in our enemy class where the on head hit method will now take in a uh, Mario, uh, Mario, and Goombas will also take in a Mario, Mario, and then Turtle will also do the same thing. It is down here, Mario, Mario. So inside of our turtle class, we're going to create two uh, private static variables for the speed in which we're going to kick our turtle in the left or the right direction. So we're going to say uh, public static final int um, kick left speed equals negative two. And then we're just going to copy this. And we're going to paste it here, but it's going to be the kick right speed. And you guessed it, it's going to be positive too. Next, we're going to add one more uh, enum state here, but we're also going to change the one we have. So we're going to set this to standing shell. And then we're going to create a new one called moving shell. Inside of our get frame, we're going to add a new case that moving case that it's the moving shell is also going to be the exact same graphic as if it's the standing shell. So let's get rid of that. There we go. So inside the uh, update method right now we're checking to see if he's been in shell form just setting there for more than five seconds. If he has then we're uh, then we're turning him back into the walking turtle. Um, so this should be changed uh, to uh, the standing shell. Um, and then on the head hit, um, if he is not in uh, the standing shell form, then go ahead and turn him into the standing shell form and set his velocity to zero. Now let's create a new method here called kick, public void kick, and it is going to take in an int and speed. And so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, set the velocity in the x-axis equal to uh, the speed. So inside the on head hit, we need to check to see if uh, the uh, turtle gets hit when he's in turtle shell form and standing still, which side of the turtle uh, Mario is jumping down on so we can kick it that direct uh, the opposite direction So if he falls down slightly to the left of the turtle We want to kick it to the right if he falls down slightly to the right of the turtle hits its head We want to kick it to the left 
We're gonna say else here, which means he's in the standing shell state. We're gonna say kick, and then we're gonna check if Mario dot get x is less than or equal to this dot get x. And if it is, that means Mario's to the left, so we want to kick right. Um, then we're gonna say kick right speed. Otherwise, the kick left speed we're gonna kick. Now let's create one more method here. Public uh, state uh, get current state, and we'll return current state. So next up, if Mario collides with uh, the shell, but he is in the standing shell form, then we want to kick it in the direction Mario is going. So uh, even though he doesn't hit him uh, from the head, we don't want Mario to die if he collides with the side of a shell uh, when the shell is just in the standing shell form. So let's take in a enemy enemy here, and then we're gonna say if um, enemy instance of turtle so if he's a turtle and uh, let's typecast this to turtle enemy dot get current state equals uh, standing shell then do the following let's typecast our enemy again to turtle enemy and then we'll say kick and then we'll say this dot get x is less than or equal to enemy dot get x then mario's to the left so we need to kick right uh, we'll set our question mark we'll say turtle dot kick right speed otherwise it's turtle dot kick left speed now we did this in an if statement so the rest of this needs to be otherwise so i'm going to just do that now scroll down to the bottom here add an extra bracket and there we go let's test it so I tested myself, didn't work, so here I am. Um, a kick also needs inside the turtle class to, we need to set the current state equal to uh, moving shell, because we didn't do that. And then I didn't like the way he bounced up in the air when he hit above, so I'm going to increase the restitution to about 1.5 instead of 0.5. Uh, so restitution, if you remember, that's bounciness of a fixture. Let's test it. This is my first take. Let's see if it actually works. Bounce, bounce. Okay, it kicked it over. We died when it was a moving shell. Now let's see if we can actually stop uh, the turtle uh, by uh, jumping on him again. So, bounce, bounce. Okay. It stopped. Now let's kick it this direction. We didn't die. Totally did it. Two thumbs up. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm really hoping that you guys are looking forward to some of the spoilers that I gave away in the first couple minutes of this video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. But most importantly, please share the video if you liked it. Um, I'm really trying to grow my YouTube channel, and you guys have been an amazing help. If you feel like you're getting something out of my YouTube series, then I would really ask you to go check out my Patreon page. That would really help support uh, me in making high quality content for you guys. So please go check it out. Just take a second. Um, I appreciate everybody watching and I'll catch you guys next time.